What up YouTube, my name is Zidane and welcome to How Much Bitcoin YouTube channel. Today we're gonna unbox and test the Antminer DR3 by Bitmain. But first, I wanna tell you about the giveaway we have right now. Check out the link below. We're giving away four gift cards, $25 each, on BitcoinMerch.com. So check the link below how to enter. Now before we start, I want to tell you a little bit about ASIC miners. ASIC miners are usually very profitable and when they come out, you know, Bitmain try to, you know, sell it for the highest price possible. So Bitmain gets the money now and you have to mine it and get it later. Now it does take time to make money from those and difficulty does go up. I keep saying it in almost every video and I want to tell you it again. When you buy something like this and you see the numbers, you have to understand that difficulty goes up, which means you get less and eventually, eventually, just like the S7 and other machines right now, even the S9 doesn't make money anymore, their value goes down a lot. And a lot of it is also because of the electricity price. This machine takes 1,410 watts out of the wall. It produces 7.8 terahashes on mining Blake 256R14 script. And it can mine Decred and maybe some other coins. And we're gonna do unboxing and then do the setup and see how much we can make. But again, whatever we make, it's gonna decrease over time. So make sure you calculate that. Always do research before investing, guys, please. All right, so let's do the unboxing. So this is definitely a big miner, which means it's gonna be loud and big. You need a, uh, you know, you need a good place for it. I have a garage to test it on, but make sure you have the correct place for it. Oh, nice! This is a, a little bigger uh, paper as usual. Um, and now it comes with two papers. Usually it comes one paper from Bitmain. Always the packaging is always very well. I always like it the way Bitmain packages, they actually have pretty good packaging and never really had any problem but just in case I'm gonna do some testing so let's take it out of the box oh wow now it's sealed too so okay here it is um, yep it's brand new and uh, DR3 7.8 terahashes this is the intake, this is where the air comes out and I'm gonna do a gentle shake uh, gently just to make sure that uh, there's no heat sink loose sometimes they get loose and if you turn it on when the heat sink loose you're gonna burn the machine so pretty standard, I see an uh, internet connection right here you have SD card slot, nobody uses that there's a reset there that you do use and the IP report um, and that's about it here is my Z9 Mini, it's usually on because it's still profitable, but right now it's off so I can show you guys how to install the DR3. This is my first time installing the DR3, so you basically are doing it together with me for the first time. The first thing I'm going to do is plug in the network cable. It doesn't really matter uh, which one you do first, as long as all of them are on. Now we're going to need 10 VGA cables, one for the motherboard, for the main board of the DR3 and then three for each board for a total of 10. Be very gentle when you connect the power cables. Now we plug in the rest of the cables to the hashing boards. Okay, it's all plugged in, so I'm gonna turn it on. It will be very loud. Before I plug it in, I'm gonna use a filter. Those filters are awesome. It protects the mining from uh, getting any bugs or any dirt and you just have to clean them up once a month or so because this thing, a lot of air go through it. And yeah, check the link below for one of those filters. It's magnetic, it just goes to the back, no screws needed, no, you don't need to void warranty to use it or anything like that. Now let's turn it on, it's gonna be very loud. And I actually almost forgot, you need the this one. This is a jumper to make the power supply think it's in a motherboard case. So we're gonna have to have that too in order to end mine to turn on, so in order for the power to turn on. Okay, let's turn it on. It's gonna be loud, just like the S9. So first thing to do is to download the port scanner, the advanced port scanner. We're gonna install it. 
and then we're gonna find the IP address that's now associated with this ant miner. Once that's done, we'll be able to log into that miner and be able to change the settings. And we're gonna choose a pool. I actually don't know anything about Decred Coin or how to mine this thing. So we're gonna learn together. I'm gonna find some pools. Um, maybe we'll use some alternative pools like NiceHash. We'll see. All right, so I think I found it. Um, 192.168.1.36 your your IP address might be different every time it connects it it chooses a different address so it might be a different address for you root is the username root is the password we are connected dr3 mining status great 7.7 7.8 average pretty good everything is mining great temperatures looks great about 78 less than 80 degrees celsius looks good so now we have to go ahead and change the pool right now it's btc.com pool of course it's gonna go to uh ant miners it's gonna go back to bitmine we're gonna change it to our pool so let's see what kind of pools they have that supports decred so i actually found out that nice has supports blake 256 r14 in us so i'm gonna try to use those settings but a lot of times it might not work for us you either get unstable hashing rates or no hashing rate at all. But let's give it a try. I'm just going to try it out because just the easiest way, fastest way to figure out how much we can we make quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the stratum address and the username and the password. So the stratum address is going to be all the same. I'm going to go ahead and copy my Bitcoin address for NiceHash and use it as the username. And the password is X. I do recommend to have more than one pool. This is all the same pool address, but you want to have different pool addresses in case one of them fail. Let's give it a try and wait 10 minutes and see if it's gonna hash. While I'm waiting for this to hash and start with the ant miner, I'm gonna go ahead and look at other pools. This is the top 10 uh, pools here, top 12, uh, that mine with the decred, which is Blake 256R14. And I'm gonna try to get with the best one because most likely that's a better one. Uh, not always, but I'm just gonna go with the one that's most popular. So this one is bpool.org. This is actually in Chinese, but I translated it. Uh, it's basically said you can open a wallet by downloading a wallet. You add your uh, mining pool address, that's for their pool. All you have to do after that is just add your address, your wallet address, and start mining. So that sounds pretty cool, that's pretty easy. So let's uh, let's go ahead and see if it supports NiceHash. As I suspected, NiceHash doesn't really support Decred or this DR3 mining. So we're gonna have to create our own wallet, which I did with Bitrex. I created a wallet. I'm going to copy that wallet and use it as my username. I'm going to call it .dr3. That's my user, sub-user address. I'm going to change the URL to a different pool. I'm going to use the uh, the Chinese uh, bpool.org just because it's the most popular. So, I, you know, I'll give it a try. Definitely don't marry to one pool. I do change some pools around. Some pools pay more, some pools pay less. Some pools have more or less downtime. Maybe you wanna make your own pool if you have enough DR3s, like 100 of them or so. You can open your own pool and then avoid the fees. But yeah, I mean, the fees are not too bad for this. Um, if we take a look at the fee, it's uh, the minimum payment is 0.1 decred and it doesn't really show the fee one or two percent or so so it's not bad so we can definitely give it a try we're gonna go ahead and mine it uh not as solo we're gonna go ahead and mine it in a pool i'm just gonna go ahead and google decred mining calculator i'm gonna put it the numbers and see how much money we can make uh currently of course this changes and uh obviously difficulty goes up always thousands of people is gonna receive this dr3 right now so let's go ahead and calculate it we are mining 7800 giga hashes or 7.8 tera hashes our power is 1420 watts my cost is about 20 cents per kilowatt hours let's go ahead and calculate it and my cost for electricity is very high 200 dollars my cost for electricity so i'm gonna make about 100 dollars a month so it's about the same as the z9 pretty much but it's a lot louder and if you pay less electricity for example if you pay only 10 10 cents per kilowatt hours you're gonna make double the profit so you see how that's gonna help you a lot with the profit okay let's see if we can start mining here let's see if it's gonna work yep right away it start mining i can see it um let's see if we can actually follow up with our uh pool and we can see if um if we see our mining um information if we can see our mining status i'm guessing this is where i'm gonna put my address and view my status um yep it's already started to mine it's showing 450 giga hashes and obviously it's gonna go up 
as you, we wait and we're gonna get more hashing power. DR3, here it is, 450 giga hashes, it's gonna go up. So yep, everything works fine. And we managed to set up the mining pool and show you guys how much profit you're gonna make. And as you can see how, you know, making $100 a month is, you know, it's pretty good, but it's just a big machine and it does cost less than the Z9. So it's just up to you and just remember that difficulty goes up and it's very loud. So the Ant Miner DR3 can make about maybe $110 a month for me with my electricity price. But that means it's going to take me 10 months to pay it back because it costs about a thousand bucks to buy the power supply and all that. It's very loud, it's hot, and it's just going to take a long time to make my money back. So I would not recommend it for someone who pays a lot for electricity. But if you pay like less, like 10 cents per kilowatt hours or less than that, you can probably pay off, you know, in a few months. That is more possible than paying it off in 10 months because in 10 months from now, difficulty for sure is going to go, you know, many, many times more. And that means a lot less that you're going to make. Check out the link below for the giveaway. We're giving four $25 gift cards where you can buy like shirts like this and mining equipment. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like if you like it, dislike if you didn't like this video. Comment below what you think about the Ant Mania DR3 and don't forget to subscribe. See you later. Peace.